In this video, I'm going to share with you 17 tips and tactics to make sure your landing page converts. And we're starting right now. Hey everybody, this is Antoine Dupont and welcome to another video. If you are new here and you're looking for practical and tactical ways to grow your business, then please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, let's jump right into it. There's nothing more frustrating than having a landing page or a website homepage that is not converting as much as you think it should. So the following are proven tactics to improve the conversion on your landing pages. And the first one is keep it simple simple, less is more. Many websites have way too much on the landing page above the fold, which is basically what you're seeing without scrolling. There are icons and navigations and links and multiple images in the carousel and multiple messages and multiple CTAs. It's too much stuff. It keeps us confused. The area above the fold should answer three questions and three questions only. And the three things are, what do I get? How is this making my life better? And how do I get it? When I work with clients, I usually end up removing about 90% of what's above the fold. Because most of the stuff I remove does not answer any of those three questions. Like for example, your social media icons. Do they answer any of those questions? No, not really, so they need to go in the footer. They don't belong above the fold. Remember, you have about three to five seconds at best to get the person to scroll down. What they're gonna do is they're gonna land on the website, they're going to look above the fold, and if it answers their question, they're gonna keep scrolling, but if it doesn't, they're out. You know what, dude, I'm out of here. The second tactic is the title or the headline of your website. The headline of your website needs to be about them. It needs to be benefit focused. For too many websites, what I see on the headline is you describing what you do, like affordable landscaping or affordable dentistry or something like that. But that doesn't mean anything to me. It certainly doesn't answer how is that gonna make my life better. So for example, a better title or headline for a landscaping website instead of affordable landscaping, have a title that says, be the envy of the neighborhood. And instead of affordable dentistry or cosmetic dentistry, how about a title like, be proud of your smile. Moving along to the third tactic, and that is call to action. Learn more, contact us, and get started doesn't work. Why? Because I don't wanna learn more anything. I don't know what contact us is and get started what? I, I don't even know what I'm getting started with, so that doesn't work. Your call to action need to be direct and clear. Most service-based business businesses will start with a quote or a proposal or some type of consultation. So get a quote would be a lot more effective if you're a service-based business and the first step for me to do business with you is to get a quote. And I didn't say request a quote. I'm not requesting anything. I am getting a quote. You see the difference? One is you basically I have to ask permission and the other one, I'm just gonna get it. And an even more effective way would be instead of get a quote, have it get your quote. See, it's not anyone's quote, it's your quote. And if you wanna add a little bit of sense of urgency, you could actually have it get your quote now or get your quote today. Now, if you choose to say now or today, you actually need to make sure that you will deliver on that. And if people click on the button, get a quote today, they actually get a quote today. That is super important. Now also make sure to have multiple ways for people to get in contact with you. You don't get your quote today as one of them, but you could also include your phone number in case someone wants to call you. Or maybe a simple little form embedded on the homepage with name, phone number, and email address to just get a little bit more information. So it's not get a quote because get a quote is direct and precise. The phone number is I want to talk to someone and maybe the form could basically ask for a little bit more information, maybe a brochure. So now you're touching on all three types of people that may be lending on your landing page. Now the fourth tactic is to include an empathy section. Show some empathy. Tell people that you understand where they are. Use sentences like, I understand how you feel. Nobody should have to. Like you, we were frustrated with. The top two character traits that people love in a leader is courage and empathy. 
By showing empathy will go a long way having people feeling comfortable with you. People want to make sure that they are understood. The empathy section will do just that. The fifth tactic is include a methodology section. A methodology section is basically a section where you're showing your process, step one, step two, step three. You can do up to six, but I would highly recommend that you don't do more than six. This section will actually help your prospect on the other side know that you have a method to your madness and that you have a methodology to go from point A to point B. The sixth tactic is include three benefits. Include a section on your website with the top three benefits of using your products or your services. Now remember that the benefit needs to be about them. It should probably include the word you or your to be effective. If it doesn't include the word you or your, it's probably about you. And honestly, between you and I, nobody cares. The seventh tactic is to include a video. A recent study by HubSpot showed that a video on a landing page will improve conversion by a whopping 80%. It helps create trust, authority, and it starts the relationship with the consumer on the other side. The content of the video is very simple. Should be about one to two minutes should actually talk about what they're getting, how it's making their life better, how they should actually get it, which would be the first step. The first step would be, well, actually fill out the form to get a quote, to get your quote. Then show on your video that you have empathy, that you understand where they're coming from. Talk to them about your methodology and obviously finish with a great call to action by telling them the multiple ways that they can actually get in touch with you. Now on that video, please resist the temptation to talk about you. Make it all about them. The A tactics is testimonial. Include a couple of testimonials up to four. You don't need to have a laundry list of testimonial, but what is really important with the testimonial and it needs to have a picture and then something that identifies this person. Maybe a job title or a city where they're from. Basically when we land on the website and we're looking at the testimonial, we know that that's not a review. That actually is all praise and all good stuff about you. So what we're looking for is what is a person like me says about your company. And for that, you need about two, maximum four testimonials that's all I need. And if your business is split evenly between men and women, then one testimonial should be from a woman and then the other one from a man. Testimonials are awesome to start creating trust and also answering the question that is in the background with all prospects is, Am I doing the right thing? The ninth tactics is awards and certifications. They don't have to be fancy or glamorous like I'm an Oscar winning designer. Most of us are licensed with something or certified with something else or we belong to a great associations or we're a member to our local chambers of commerce Anything that you have that could actually show people a little bit of authority with a certification and award goes a long way to establish trust and authority. And for that, you don't need that many. I will say minimum four up to six, but you don't need more than that. Just create a simple row of several awards and certifications you have, and that will be sufficient to tell the prospect that you're qualified to do the work. The 10th tactic is include a case study. This type of section is really instrumental in showing people the results that they could expect. Now again, you don't need to have a dozen of them. I would just take pick one, maybe two, pick some of the best one and display them on the landing page. The 11 tactic is retargeting marketing. Make sure you take advantage of that amazing technology. Some people may come on your website and not ready to make a decision yet. They're sitting on the fence and they don't know which way to go. Having your ads show on Facebook or LinkedIn or Google ads or on YouTube pre-roll would be an amazing way to reinforce that maybe this is the good company to look at. And remember, those ads are going to show only for people that have already visited your website. So you're not showing those ads to the world. You're simply showing those ads for people that have already landed on your website. That's super effective. The 12 tactics is no stock images. There's nothing more effective to have people get away from your website thinking, yeah, that's more of the same by having stock images of those beautiful people with those beautiful smiles that looks really fake. 
like, I mean, I don't know about you, but have you ever gone to an office where all the people there are thin, beautiful, and have beautiful white teeth? No? Yeah, me neither. Also, those beautiful sceneries of mountains or the beach or the downtown skyscape, that doesn't work either. Unless, of course, you're selling mountains or beaches or office space in downtown. Always use a picture showing people using your products and services in context. So, for example, if working with you is going to happen inside of a boardroom with a large screen, then the picture should actually show two or three people in a boardroom with a large screen showing how it is going to be working with you. Now, I am a big fan to death to stock photos. There's a link in the description. You can go and check it out for yourself. The reason why I like it is because all the pictures on their library are authentic, they're original, and they're unique. None of their pictures look like stock photography. I also use Unsplash and Pixabay, and I put a link in the description below as well. Now, if you have a great source for non-stock photos, make sure to put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear where you get your non-stock pictures for your website. The 13 tactics is mobile optimized. Make sure your website looks great on a mobile phone. Your landing page may look great on a desktop. Usually this is how a designer will show its work. But how does it look on a tablet? How does it look on a mobile phone? Is the experience of the navigation and everything I'm looking at feels the same? And is it a great experience? A recent study showed that 52% of people are less likely to engage with a company if the mobile experience isn't satisfactory. Now, that's more than half the people that will go away if the mobile experience on a tablet or mobile phone is not good. So it's super important that your mobile experience of your landing page is awesome. The 14th tactic is include a quiz. Having a little quiz on your website is a great way to interact and engage with your prospects and actually give them instant value. You can either give them the results after they exchange a name and an email address or give it to them right away. Either or the effect is going to be awesome. People are engaging with you. Now there are tons of free plugins for WordPress that you can have your webmaster install. It's not that highly complicated. Some are free, some have a little fee, but just check it out and add it to your website and test it. See if it works for you. The 15th tactic is include a free download of an ebook. This is a great way to generate leads. With my marketing agency, we get about a half a dozen downloads on a weekly basis. Now, you need to make sure that the ebook is actually good quality so that when people download it, they don't feel like, ugh, that wasn't that good. There's a real estate agency in Tallahassee, which is in North Florida, that has a 120 pages ebook on how to sell your home on your own. He claims that this is his number one source of lead for his firm. Now, the first thing is it's 120 page, so it offers massive amount of information. Really, really great value. But really what happens is people get to page 49 and they're like, Forget about this, this is way too much work. I want you to sell my home. The 16 tactics is compare and improve. Once you have implemented all the tips and all the tactics I've just given you, Pull up your landing page and compare it, put it side by side with your number one competition landing page and look at it objectively. And ask yourself that question, which one will make my life better? Which one has a clear message? Which one is telling me how am I going to get what I'm going to get? Now be objective and ask a friend. And if you see things on your competition's landing page that is better than yours, then adjust keep rolling. And now the 17th and final tactic is have an exit pop-up. Having an exit pop-up is a great way to capture leads before people leave your website. Now beware and don't be annoying. There's nothing worse than having something pop in your face after three seconds you've been on the website. Remember I said an exit pop-up. I didn't say a three second and boom, I'm in your face. There are multiple types of services that offer that. Just look for one that fits within your budget and the requirements of your website and just test it out and see if that works for you. All right, so that does it for today. If you have any comment, suggestions, or any feedback, put them in the comments below. And before you leave, please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss a thing. Ciao.